Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome to another Elden Ring video. I have the top 10 most underrated and most overlooked weapons, in my opinion. Now, I'm not going to be including the top 4 most used weapons, or like the, the top 4 most popular weapons, just because you guys probably already know how good they are. The Bla Blasphemous Blade, the Dark Moon Greatsword, the Moon Veil, and the Rivers of Blood. Now that those four are out of the way, obviously they are very good. I highly suggest that you go and use them, but we're going to get on to the, the runner-ups and the most underrated weapons here, starting off from top to bottom. We got our Black Knife Dagger. So this weapon is, is more geared toward bossing. It's definitely going to be hard to hit a lot of targets very quickly using this. It does hit them with that black flame which will build up and do quite a lot of damage to like a single target and it does have a decent amount of range. From there we're moving on to the Royal Greatsword and so this weapon actually is extremely fun to use because it, it gives you a lot of range and, it, and mobility for yourself. I would say that the range is not like amazing on it because you do have to be somewhat close but once you're within jumping range you can jump on someone and it does a pretty decent AoE which gives it a high mobbing ability on this. I would say this is geared a little bit more towards mobbing. It has great stagger, it'll knock enemies back and its speed is decent. Moving on from there we do have the Ruins Greatsword. Now this one was really interesting because it's it's a lot like the Blasphemous Blade because you do shoot out like a beam in front of you but it does gravity damage which it, I'm pretty sure is, is physical damage and it can be really useful depending on what enemies you're fighting against. It's great for bobbing. It has good AoE on it, and the stagger was was decent. The speed maybe not quite as fast as you might think it would be, but the range obviously the range is decent. So all around, it's just a generally good weapon. The next weapon in the top ten here is the Dragon King's Crag Blade. Now this weapon's actually really cool because it turns you into a cloud, an, an electric cloud, and you can you can move around with the cloud and you do, I think you do damage while you're moving, but you also do damage when you end. So wherever you end up, you're gonna be doing electric damage. It's, I think it's really fun to use. It's very like unique for a weapon and, and I'm not sure how vulnerable you really are when you're in the cloud but it felt it felt to me like i couldn't be staggered very easily when i was in the cloud form it's geared a little bit more towards mobbing in my opinion just because you can do aoe while you're in the cloud form the range is definitely not very good but uh it does have you know it does have the mobility factor to it so it is pretty cool and, I, and i'd love to try this out a little bit more moving on to the rossus's or rossus Rosus's axe. Ro Rosus axe. Ro Rosus. How do you pronounce this? Shit? It's um. It's. I would say this is a very underrated weapon. So basically, when you use this skill, it's, there's going to be three skeletons that come in from either side and one in front that attack the location that you attack. So you can actually get a bunch of hits off if you need like multiple hits. It kind of feels like it has AOE. So. It kind of makes the uh, the range of it quite large, and it, it just feels good to use. This is going to be better for mobbing, has a little bit of range, decent range, but it's kind of a slow weapon, and um, I'm not 100% sure on the stagger. I would say it's just about average for stagger, and um, definitely not a bossing weapon. Alright, moving down to Family Heads. Now, this weapon was actually extremely, like, this caught me off guard. I did not expect this thing to be good. But when I was using it, I realized that it could be pretty good at cheesing bosses or just fighting bosses in general. Um, basically, you can just continuously send like these like homing projectiles in at your target, and like the range is all right. And I felt like the damage was actually pretty good, and I could just continue. It felt like I could continue to do it, so the the speed felt. Great. I don't know 100% how good it would be at mobbing because I don't know if it's great for stagger but it is it has decent damage it has decent speed it has decent range and it, I feel like I could use it against a boss moving down to the candle stand this one was pretty good for mobbing it was pretty like the AoE on it was fantastic it just shoots a bunch of fire like all around um, 
every literally like a huge cir circle area around you just every direction you it shoots fire so i mean you can't you can't go wrong with it moving on to the beast jaw the falling star beast jaw this weapon is insane for stagger has extraordinarily good stagger it does a gravity bolt attack which has decent range and you can just use it so fast so uh, the speed was really good the stagger was really good the range was decent I honestly feel like this might be my favorite one of all of the all of the weapons so far. I I don't see how this could possibly be considered a bad weapon. It's I wouldn't say that it's amazing for mobbing, but it would probably be more geared toward bossing because you're looking for that stagger damage, trying to get the boss to fall over or whatever it might be. Moving down to our last couple weapons here, both of them being spears, we have the Vikes War Spear up first. This is like a very popular weapon right now i think for pvp you kind of launch forward and then you stab and like explode it affects you with madness as well so you have to be careful when you're using it i, I would definitely say it's like kind of like a i would say this is like a just a fucking, even across the board like not bad not good for like all categories i don't think that it has a ton of range so maybe it would be a little lower on the range um, side of things. Moving on to the last weapon, this weapon was the best one, obviously, because not only are trolls um, susceptible to blood loss, but I don't think I've ever seen a weapon that is un that is not upgraded provide a blood loss buildup as quick as this spear did. So I almost killed the troll. Um, and that was without even really trying to do so. So I'm, I'm actually very impressed with how much damage you can get out of this weapon. And that's without upgrades. That's just with the blood loss itself. Between this weapon and the Falling Star Beast Jaw, these are definitely the two top two, like, strongest ones on the list. From here, we're going to be moving on to our, our um, honorable mentions. So the first honorable mention we have is the Hannah Millennia. Now, obviously, this is like a super, super good weapon. You can be used for a lot of different things. You can you can literally jump across gaps using its ability. It's a very popular weapon for PvP. It's pretty good for, for mobbing. Um, definitely good for mobbing. I don't know 100% for bossing, but it's I would say it's got decent speed, decent range, and a decent mobbing capabilities. Uh, the next honorable mention we have is the Beast Claw uh, Hammer. Or I guess it's a great hammer so I would say that this is a good honorable mention because it has good AoE and the damage was decent I don't think it had too much stagger I think that for mobbing this could be really really good um, the speed felt decent and and the range was pretty good so I, I do want, want to have to mention this one I, I this was very very close to being replaced now moving on to the next honorable mention, Malekith's Black Blade. Now I think this is the one that made like a ball of of slices around me. The main thing about this weapon is that I don't feel like it has a ton of immediate stagger on it, but I think it could be really really fun for mobbing. So this is definitely a mobbing weapon. Speed on it is pretty good and the range is not that great, but it does have good AoE. Moving on to the Great Club. The cool thing about this weapon is that not only does it knock enemies back, but it also creates a couple of small projectiles that do damage as well. So if you're looking for a weapon that's like kind of good for just overall, I feel like this is the, is a great weapon because not only can you use it to knock enemies back, like sta like stagger enemies, um, you can also use it for like follow up damage as well. So I. I don't know exactly how this could be used, maybe it's like a PvP weapon. I did not expect to be good, and then it was actually kinda good. So Death Ritual Spear. Now this weapon doesn't have any stagger, but it does have range, and it does have a lot of projectiles, and it does shoot them down from above, which means if you're hiding behind cover, you can definitely use this to f literally fight enemies that are like decently far away. and. I would say that the damage was actually pretty good on this thing. So mobbing, fantastic. Stagger, not very good. Bossing, actually pretty good on this as well. You could use this to do bossing. Bossing and mobbing. But it just, 
you're just all you're missing is that stagger and you are pretty vulnerable when you're casting it so as long as you have cover i would say that this weapon is extraordinarily good if this video helped you guys out in any way please hit me with a like it could help me so much with the youtube algorithm and please stay subscribed for more content like this hope you guys enjoyed and uh yeah